So my apologies for the audio issues at the beginning of this clip. Uh, it was a combination of poor microphone placement and it just being really windy on the day that I filmed it. And you're about to find out it's not the only apology I have to make. Well, you'll see. It's getting windy now as well, isn't it? Should I just get on with it and do it? They're not going to be happy, are they? No. Hi, it's Richard from Original Outdoors, and well, this that I'm wearing is the Country Innovations Raptor waistcoat. And well, I think I've got to make a bit of an apology to Country Innovations because they got in touch a couple of weeks ago uh, at the beginning of October and said, uh, would you be interested in reviewing this waistcoat? And I had a look at it online very quickly and said, yeah, yeah, I'm sure we'll find a use for that. Yeah, yeah, send one over. And then it arrived and I looked at it and thought, oh. well, the problem with waistcoats is they're only actually any use if you can fit stuff in them. Because that's what, apart from, you know, anything, anything that's not a fashion waistcoat, if it's for use in the outdoors, particularly when you're doing a job, then it's only useful if you can fit stuff in it. And, well, it's got 15 pockets and it's all very well made and it's made from this military grade ripstop nylon but well I'm a little disappointed I mean all that you can fit in it really is well I've managed to get this spotting scope in there and well these binoculars they fit in there as well actually uh, they're okay um, what else well, I managed to get this quite big torch in there and not much else really the entire body for a DSLR and an 18 to 200 millimeter lens and well not not a great deal oh I, I did manage to get this other 28 to 80 mil Nikon lens in there um is there anything else oh a, a compact camera another camera and oh and a 50 mil full frame lens that I managed to fit in there as well. Um, I think that was possibly. Oh no no, there's a bit more. There's a bit more. Um, managed to get well a map in there and um, the the compass pouch thing. Um, what else? Some, anything in here? Did I leave anything in this one? Oh, uh, USB battery pack and USB lead. Um, oh, just uh, fishing weight. That's that's all. Oh, and um, one of those chalk things that you use for testing wind direction. It's going that way apparently. Um, was there anything else? Oh. Massive knife. Um, that that fits in there. I can't really. Oh, um, a, a, a huge first aid kit. And oh, and a book and a notepad. And you know, I think that's. Oh, and another notepad. And a load of batteries. And more batteries. And more batteries. N nothing much else now. Camera triggers. Two or three of those. And... Oh. A massive pair of leather gloves. And another jacket. So I think you'll agree, um, that's, that's quite a lot of stuff, but I want to carry my flask in that pocket. It doesn't quite fit, it just, just sticks out just above. So that's what's really disappointed me, um, is that I want to ca carry this set fairly substantial flask in this one particular top pocket. I mean, it does fit in this pocket nicely, down here. And it actually fits in this, this pocket in there and the one in there and it would fit on either of the two pockets at the back. Um, but I want to carry it in this one, I mean, it, it doesn't fit. So, I mean, that's, that's a, 
that's, that's a mark against country innovations there, that this massive flask doesn't fit in this one pocket. And all, I've only been able to fit all of this stuff in. It's fairly simple. There's no fancy drop liner or anything else like that. I've looked through the whole thing and I can't find a stitching out of place. In fact, I've been using this fairly heavily for three weeks now. And apart from, I think, a bit of a scuff on the shoulder where there's, I need to brush some charcoal off from a campfire. You could probably put this back on the rack and sell it. it, it it's holding up really well. All of those pockets, they're all reinforced where they need to be. There are slight elastications on these big ones down here to allow them to take on quite big uh, loads. The hand warmer pockets down here are exactly where you'd want them to be. They're reinforced as well and I can feel confident resting my arms in there for long periods of time. I've got very expensive waterproof jackets at home where the stitching started to go here from doing that. And on this, well, I can hang on it quite well. Um, it fits really nicely. Um, I find it fits pretty much spot on with what Country Innovations recommend on their website and their sizing charts. There are volume reducers here on the sides. Uh, there's a pleated back here, so it is comfortable and I can bend and twist and jump and do all sorts of things with it. I'd be quite happy lying or sitting on rough ground. I have been, I've been using this uh, on tracking courses and foraging courses so far this month and it's been pretty good. It's held up to all of that abuse and I've been lying on the ground and crawling across rocks and doing all sorts of things and it doesn't really show any signs of wear and if I had stuff in those pockets when I was lying on the ground or moving low across the ground I'd have some reassurance that everything's going to stay in those pockets. Uh, these pockets at the back you've got this big flap thing here which is just about big enough for a tablet or a small laptop. Um, not something I'm likely to be carrying but notepads and books or a windproof uh, fit in there nicely. Inside the vest itself you have another big sort of poacher's pocket thing. Uh, this one is held uh, by Velcro, held closed by Velcro. Again another place to put a jacket or uh, maybe a mat to pull out and sit on. Um, I've actually managed to put a, a small uh, full height tripod in there. The pockets are pretty much symmetrical. You've got two big pockets here, which are big optics, big lenses, that kind of thing. Two smaller ones here, which you can still fit a decent sized lens in. Just that aperture opening at the top of the pocket is a, you can just about fit something like that in. I think this is a 72 mil um, front element on this lens and the sun shield just about catches on the inside um, but for smaller lenses or other things it would work really well um, you can just about fit a flash in there I think um, there's a few other pockets as I said they've got the hand warmer you've got these big I think they call them Napoleon pockets something like that. Nelson pockets I don't know something the map pocket the big chest pocket in there that covers quite an area it's actually all of this there's one of those on either side so they're perfect and you've got everything goes through nicely there this zip pocket on the inside is about right for keys head torch uh, phone same on this side and room for a notepad on the inside of the these two chest ones well on the this side my left you've got two pen holder pockets there as well so i can't think what else you'd want to add to this and i think if you added anything else it would be a little bit too much i like the padded shoulders i like the epaulette thing that means if i've got a strap around there it isn't likely to slip off uh, quite useful if you're using a shoulder bag or something else or some, another bag with more lenses in it it's not waterproof it's not even it's just about windproof but i think that's to do with the thickness of the fabric um, it's not that insulated um, it's something I definitely want as an outer layer on top of anything else and then if I needed to add a windproof or a waterproof I'd take this off and put that on top um, yeah uh, this is it's an outer garment but you wouldn't want to put this underneath anything anyway it does just get in the way of rucksack straps uh, when I'm wearing a rucksack these top pockets here aren't quite accessible and a waist belt closes over these pouches here so I probably wouldn't wear it with a hiking mountaineering type rucksack um, but I might use it with a shoulder bag or something like that but to be 
perfectly honest if I did need a rucksack full of stuff as well a lot of the stuff that would go in those pockets would go in the rucksack and then I'd take them out and put them in the pockets whenever I needed them at whatever destination I'm going. If it's not necessarily for everyone in terms of the style and the fashion and the uh, how it looks and it wouldn't work in every um, situation but if you are used to shoving stuff into your pockets or taking a small shoulder bag with this amount of kit in it when you go out then this sort of thing might be worth look adding to your shortlist and I would urge you to take a look at the Country Innovations Raptor waistcoat. Thank you for watching. Original Outdoors isn't really a YouTube channel, we're actually an outdoor training company. We're based up here in North Wales, we run courses in North Wales and in Scotland and in Suffolk and elsewhere in the UK. So take a look at our website for our updated range of courses and all our other services. We've got a blog on there with articles and tutorials and a few other things and more gear reviews like this one. If you want to like this video and subscribe to the channel that'll help, but if you just want to watch this video and then get on with the rest of your life, well that's okay too. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time.